even more. Oh, oh, I felt it twice. Oh, oh, got it. That was awesome. Got it. Oh, felt that one too. Wow. Mmm. Wow. always really good. <laughs> I felt that all the way to my toes. So we have Avina here today. I've worked with Avina before. Actually, I worked with you like a week ago, right? Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. And I invited her back because she's fun and she's got some good spots to work on. And I think um, you needed another appointment anyway. I definitely did. So we yes. combined it. Today's Sunday mm -hmm. and uh, we're just... You know, doing um, a nice, nice session for you. Okay. Thank what you. do you want to work on? What is your your thing? So you can tell them. Well, I am a school counselor. I've been working from home this whole pandemic. Um, so my day to day is sitting at the computer for long hours at a time. Mm -hmm. um, so specifically, my neck. I have a lot of tension in my neck, my shoulders, um, and then my lower back, just because I am sitting for such a significant amount of time. Okay, so. good. I'm glad you're here. Um, all right, so I'm um, I'm gonna get started. I'm gonna have you lie uh, face down. Okay. And we're just gonna start from that direction. Got it. You no, know, uh, sometimes I'll talk to the camera, so you won't see that because your face is down. Okay. But um, you know, I sometimes get people. Let's say, do you do certain things in order? Like, do you always do the Y strap before something else? Mm -hmm. And uh, there are advantages and disadvantages of sometimes you do the Y strap. And it pulls everything out, and then it's hard to do an occiput lift afterwards, or it's, or it's hard to do something afterwards. Okay. But I've never been the type of chiropractor who does everything in the same order, mm -hmm. um, mostly because I try not to go there. Um, it's very easy to just establish a pattern. You're okay. comfortable with the pattern as yeah. a doctor mm -hmm. or a practitioner, and then you just follow that pattern all the time. True. The thing that I resist doing that is because I don't want to do a pattern. I want to just get my hands started and seeing what I find and then asking for your feedback and saying, what do you feel there? What do you feel there? And seeing what feels appropriate to do next. And that's my style. It's not a better style. You know, you might watch other chiropractors and there's so many amazing chiropractors on YouTube and they do things their way. But you know, I've been doing this for 22 years, so I don't want to copycat someone else's way. I want to do my way. My way is more to, to flow. I'm a flow guy as opposed to step one, step two, step three. Okay, so I'm just mentioning that because I got comments on that and I just wanted to respond. And for some reason, I went to her upper back. And again, I'm following that thought, like why the upper back? I don't know. But am I right? Is there stuff here? And did I find something already? Yes, definitely. A lot or a little? Uh, a, a, a lot. lot. So turn your head this way so we can hear you talk all the way. I do the same with animals. So when I'm working on animals, I have a new animal channel called Animal Cracker. If you haven't seen it, I just started it January 1st. It's on YouTube. It's called Animal Cracker, and it's where I adjust horses, dogs, pigs, cats, goats, wow, rabbits, cool. um, and I post those videos. And the channel's really taking off. It's only um, 14 weeks old. It just hit 10,000 subscribers. Oh, nice. Really taking off like a shot. And it's something I've been working on for a couple of years now, working, learning, and going back to school for animals. But with animals, I also follow what I need. I mean, I know I'm going to adjust the animal's neck mm -hmm. and the atlas, mm -hmm. but I don't know where it's going to take me next. No. So I start, and then I follow the lead of the body. I let the body lead me. Mm. And right now I'm feeling on you, horrible upper back tension. Mm -hmm. As I come down to the mid-back, I'm finding plenty more here. Ooh, yeah. I'm finding more in the lower back. And in your case, it's really easy because wherever I land, I find a bad spot. Yeah, unfortunately. Thank you for bringing all these <laughs> bad spots to me today. Sorry. I'm like, what's this? Oh, yes. All right. Notice she was tapping like in the UFC. <laughs> tap out. Yeah, she, she, if that's a tap out, <laughs> you have to respect the tap. Yeah. So if you tap out, I'll stop, okay? Okay. Tap, 
that's a tap. That's a tap. Mm. Now, I don't mm. hope I'm not overdoing it with the horses, but sometimes when I work on horses, I they can't tell me that they're tapping out. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So I push into a spot and I watch either the ears move, mm. the eyes flicker, like the eyes all squint and blink, mm -hmm. and squint and blink. Sometimes the leg lifts or the tail switches. Swishes. Yeah. So watch her leg move sometimes when I hit this spot. Watch this. And the leg comes up. Do you see it? Can you see that in the camera? So I'm pushing here on the L4 and her foot goes. So humans do that too, in other words. Now humans will say, ah, you're killing me. You got my spot or they'll tap. But animals can't, so I have to watch these cues. Mm -hmm. And they let me know. A, a horse's ears come back, they're angry. Mm -hmm. They go forward, they might be more relaxed. The horse's top line, the head drops below horizontal, mm -hmm. they're more relaxed. A horse blows to its lips, it goes. Mm -hmm. Then it starts licking. <laughs> That means it just relaxed, it's the relaxed. parasympathetic nervous system. You watch some of my videos on my other channel, my own cracker, you'll see that. And it's really interesting. Oh. Um, you'll see a twitching muscle and then it relaxes. So we're looking for before and after, pre and post. We're looking for um, reaction, stressor and response. Mm -hmm. And humans do it too. And it's really interesting. Like she didn't even know her foot was coming up until I pointed it out, well, but, yeah, but exactly. like it just was coming up. And I think it was this spot here, watch. There it goes, watch the foot. Oh, yeah, that one's bad. There it comes. So let's hold this for a minute, drop that foot now. Take a big breath in, big breath in, and blow it out. Good, now watch, we'll start again. Blow it, breathe, big breath in, blow it out. And now we return to the spot and see if we can get it to relax. There it goes. So the foot's relaxed. It's a little better, yeah. So it's just interesting. I'm just making that point. I'm not comparing her to an animal, but we're we are animals. We're a human, mm -hmm. which is a animal species, and um, we have physical cues too. We have things. I mean, just think about it. Like some. You walk through a department store and someone's spritzing perfume on everybody. That you know, all the salespeople are have their perfume bottles out, <laughs> and some people get headaches from that. Mm -hmm. Some people it annoys them or makes their nose itch, and they they might try to sneeze. So they're getting there's things that trigger us. Mm -hmm. There's things that trigger us physically. They trigger our five senses, and if we start tuning into that, we get a lot of information. So now I'm going to adjust this. I'm going to come down the back. It's right here, right there. Big breath in and blow it out. Watching her breath. Oh, Got it. That was awesome. What'd you feel? Ooh, I felt a huge crack in the middle. Ooh. Okay. That was good. Turn on your back. We're going to do the Y strap next. And you're gonna come down a lot. So you're gonna to come to your calf is on this bottom of the table. Okay. Right about there. No. Come back all the way. Good and lay down. And help me position this around your neck. Thank you so much. Good. I'm gonna lower the table. So the table's dropping down to a lower level. And before we start, I'm just gonna begin the stretch so you feel it. Is it catching your ears or is it okay? No, it's okay. Good. Ooh, this that feels really good. Good. So let's just hold this stretch for a minute. Mm -hmm. Big breath in and blow it out. I didn't hurt it pop a little, did you? A little click? I did, just a little bit. A little yeah. click at the top. And blow it out. So now we're going to do one, okay? So okay. I'm going to stretch and then go boom. Okay. Big breath in. Here's the real one. And blow it out. always really good. <laughs> I felt that all the way to my toes. Whoa. Ooh. Wow. Take That's... another breath. <sighs> wow. My rib, like my, my breathing in my chest, my like my rib cage feels like I can expand a little bit more when I breathe. 
Mm. That was really awesome. Thank you. Mm. So now your fiance, her fiance, his name is Troy. Mm. And uh, when are you getting married? We haven't set a date yet. All right, actually. take your time. Take your time. <laughs> when things subside, yeah. we can actually plan. And he was supposed to come today and get an adjustment, but he had to work or something. He did. Yeah. He did. So hi, Troy. <laughs> We owe you one, Troy. Maybe you come next month. Yeah, he needs um, it too. He works for me. You did a beautiful so. job on the ring. <laughs> Definitely. And, and congratulations to you guys. You guys are Thank they're you. a great young couple. I I'm impressed. <laughs> you're, you're both great. Thank you. So So I'm gonna adjust this Ooh. next. Nice. Whoa. That was a good one. Right where you put your finger at. Right there. Yeah, that was a spot. Mm, really awesome. Mm. That's your occiput, so I'm gonna have you sit up for a second, okay? Okay. So sit all the way up and face this wall. Okay. And scoot forward till your and then put one part of your butt here and scoot forward even more. Okay. So we're gonna do this part part top left corner. Okay. I'm gonna turn this way. And now I'm gonna let your head tilt. Even more. Even more. Oh, oh, I felt it twice. Oh, oh, I felt it here right before you started and right where you landed at that. Whoa. Ooh. Oh, man, I always say I, I always offer if he wants to come home with me. Guys. I always do just to ask. <laughs> Well, wow. Mm, big difference. Good. You needed that one, okay? <sighs> you needed that one. Mm. All right. So let's do this next. Mm. I'm going to have you lie on your back, okay? Okay. How was that occiput lift? That was awesome. Yeah. Really good. Great. So the difference in like my shoulder blade on that side also. Good. So now lie on your back. So maybe come in really close with the camera this time, and we're going to look at this foot here. Got it. So that clicked. Yeah. You hear that pop? That was good too. Now we're going to... That one's done. Oop. I just bumped into the camera. Got it. That was a good one. Mm, that was a good one. Good. Mm. Good. All right, so now you're going to lie on your side facing me, okay? Okay. You're going to pull this top knee up. And we're gonna adjust into the lower back. Okay. It's already popping. Big breath in, blow it out. Got it. Ooh. Perfect. Ooh, awesome. Mm. How was that one? That one was really good. Oh, you I needed felt that, that one. one straight down my leg. Yeah, because that's where you get compression. Mm -hmm. So lie on your side this way. We're going to try to do the other side to open it up. Okay. Take some pressure off the nerves. Take some pressure off the discs. Because mm. the discs can, when they really get bad, they get her herniated or bulging. Mm -hmm. And we want to take that pressure off. So that does not happen. Got it. Good. So we got that one too. Mm. All right. I'm going to see, uh, I'm going to switch sides with the camera, and I'm going to just see if you have a little left in the thoracics, the mid-back, okay? Okay. And 
So I'm going to reach under you this time. Okay. And I'm going to put my hand here. Big breath in. Blow it out. Oh, Got it. Oh, I felt that one too. Wow. Mmm. Wow. Mmm. Really good. Good. So come sit mm. up now. Okay. And then when you're ready, I'm going to have you come back to the original spot. You were standing over there on the carpet. Okay. Okay, take your time. Actually, you can stay right there in a good spot. How do you feel? Much better. Oh, man. If I could get here literally on a weekly basis, I would. I think the Y strap really? was definitely my favorite part just because right. I felt that all the way down to my toes and back up again. That one was really good. Good. For sure. Yeah. Say, say hello to Troy. <laughs> hey, babe. Right, thanks for coming today.